I'm going to show you two neat uh, new features in FileMaker Pro Advanced 17 that allow you to do a, a few things when you're sending uh, uh, files or exporting files. First one I'm going to show you is uh, FileMaker 17's new ability to create, if required, a folder or directory uh, that you specify uh, in the script step to uh, create a folder so you can put your newly exported files in them. So uh, if, I, if I look here, I have a finder window here with, uh, that's basically blank. Uh, but if I go up here to uh, uh, my FileMaker custom app and I click this PDF button, well, you'll notice if you're watching below here that there was a folder created, and inside the folder is two documents. Now, normally with FileMaker, uh, you can't do that with prior to 17. Uh, you were forced to create all that stuff ahead of time or use a plug-in or uh, run a send event or some sort of uh, outside of FileMaker uh, uh, operation to, to, to uh, perform that, but now you can do it right within FileMaker. Now, I'm going to go into layout mode here and kind of show you what's happening behind the scenes. So I open up this uh, button here and I click on the script. Let's drag that little fella in into our uh, view here and you can see that I've got two script steps here that create the two PDF files and you'll notice there's a new option here uh, you know you've always you've had uh, save records as PDF you got dialog off you've got the name of the PDF you got records being browsed all those are all stuff we've had before but here's something new create directories and it's on so if I look at my specified Outlook output, rather, I can see that I've actually put the folder structure right in here. And so if this folder here, or any of these folders here, are not present, uh, FileMaker will create them for you if you have that turned on. However, if they're already there, it doesn't mind. It just keeps running and saves your files uh, appropriately. And I'll, I'll give you a look-see on how that works. So let's go to browse mode here. All right, I'm going to go back here and, and, and I'm going to delete these files. I'm going to move these to the trash. Okay, so now I, I have the folder but no files. Go ahead and I click this button again and it creates the two files. Already saw the folder was there, no problem. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the ability to send multiple attachments, another file related feature that's new with FileMaker Pro Advanced 17. If I click this button here, it will go ahead and send a file to uh, uh, an email, rather, with two attachments. So if I bring up my email client, I can go ahead and I see that. I've got two attachments in this uh, uh, email. Let me show you a little bit of behind the scenes of what's going on there. So again, we'll go into layout mode, we'll double click on this fella here, bring this button into the side, we'll click on this, we'll bring up the uh, button action, and we'll take a look at this. And you notice that all these features are, are basically the same, except for we see the uh, two attachments option. So let's go ahead here, click this, again, bring this into view, and you notice that you can see there's attachments here. And in fact, you'll notice a button down here that says attach files, plural. And if I click that fella, this comes up and I can see that I have uh, uh, multiple paths here with slightly different file names. And so it's going to grab both of those. And you can see the confirmation here because it kind of shows you a preview of this and you can delete any of these you want. And it goes ahead and uh, sends those multiple attachments. Now you can have those uh, attachments uh, manually uh, picked if you're, if you're using a... Uh, you know, uh, email client, uh, or doing it from a dialog box in the uh, in the uh, send mail option here. Uh, but if you script it, you can have it automatically uh, uh, populate based on uh, the result of uh, of this path here that you put in. Uh, you could set that path via a, uh, uh, a variable if you wanted as well. So 
again, you have the ability now to send an email that has multiple attachments, as well as create exports or save as files and create folders on the fly if you need them.